Hi, and welcome to a new Decred news update. I'm your host, Exodus, and we're going to be going over some of the features in Decred 1.7. The Decred based Bison 1.7 update has been released with a bunch of new improvements and includes four new consensus changes that must be approved by stakeholders via Decred's on chain voting process. The major highlights of this release are as follows The Decred DEX, which operates using trustless peer to peer atomic swaps, now comes with an integrated lightweight Bitcoin client using Simple Payments Verification, or SPV for short. This means users no longer need to run and configure a 400 gigabyte Bitcoin full node to get set up and trade on the DEX. Instead, they just have to create and sync a Bitcoin wallet in the DEX interface when getting set up. This makes getting on the DEX significantly easier, not only compared to prior DEX releases, but also compared to centralized exchanges considering there is zero privacy invasive know your customer requirements. Not even an email address is needed when getting set up. With this release, the DCR DEX is now considered fully integrated into Decrediton, Decred's graphical wallet. Experimental SPV support for Decred DCR DEX wallets has also been added. Ethereum and ERC token support is nearing completion on the DEX as well. The developers will be carrying out a professional audit of the Ethereum contract before moving to mainnet use. It is important to remember that when using the DEX, trades settle on-chain and require block confirmations. Trades do not settle instantly. In some cases, they may take hours to settle. The client software should not be shut down until you are absolutely certain that your trades have settled. Thus, it is seriously recommended you execute your DEX trades with a secure internet connection on a reliable system. A proposal was recently overwhelmingly approved to continue funding the third phase of DCR DEX development. This next phase includes things like maintenance and support, fidelity bonds, mixed account support, BTC swap acceleration, hidden service service support, comms hardening, finalization of Ethereum support, and spare funds for the further evolution of the DEX. A budget of $370,000 US dollars payable in Decred has been approved to complete this work. The DEX, like everything built for Decred, is completely open source and is always open to new, talented developers to help contribute and make the DEX better. Also in 1.7, Decred's Stake Shuffle Privacy Mixer has had its mixing protocol updated to add additional security against quantum computing. This new mixing protocol is incompatible with the old one. The new server is located at mix.decred.org and is configured automatically for those who have upgraded to Decred 1.7. The epoch for mixes is now every 15 minutes, down from 20 minutes. Nearly 8 million Decred are currently mixed, which is about an impressive 58% of the circulating supply. It is important for any cryptocurrency that wants to be called money to be fungible, meaning the coins are mutually interchangeable with no history behind the coins. The amount of time it takes to complete the initial Decred blockchain synchronization process has been substantially reduced. With default settings, it is around 48% faster versus the previous release. The way unspent transaction outputs, or UTXOs, are handled has been significantly reworked to provide major performance enhancements to both steady state operation as well as the initial chain sync process. Each UTXO is now tracked independently on a per output basis. The UTXOs now reside in a dedicated database. And all UTXO reads and writes now make use of a cache. Politea proposals must now have a specified start date, end date, and budgets which are visible in the proposal itself. A large number of under the hood improvements, bug fixes, and optimizations have also been made. MonPR was able to secure Decred 1.7 news media on various publications, thus helping spread the word of the release. It is up to everyone in the community to help promote Decred and show the world what amazing tech is being built. This is a team effort through and through. Four new consensus change votes are now available as of this release. After upgrading, stakeholders may set their preferences through their wallet. In Decrediton, you can do this by clicking on the Governance tab, then clicking on Consensus Changes. The Revert Treasury Expenditure Policy changes the algorithm used to calculate Treasury spending limits such that it enforces the policy originally approved by stakeholders in the Decentralized Treasury proposal. The explicit version upgrades vote provides an easy, reliable, and efficient method for software and hardware to determine exactly which rules should be applied to transaction and script versions. This upgrade further embraces the increased security and other desirable properties that hard forks provide over soft forks. The automatic ticket revocations vote improves the Decred stakeholder user experience by removing the requirement for stakeholders to manually revoke missed and expired tickets. It also enables the recovery of funds for users who lost their redeem script 
for the old VSP system. And last but not least is the change proof of work, proof of stake, subsidy split to 10 slash 80 vote. This would change Decred's block reward subsidy split so that proof of work miners receive only 10% of the block reward down from 60% and proof of stake miners would now receive 80% of the block reward up from 30% with 10% of the block rewards still going to the treasury unchanged. This proposal modification to the subsidy split is intended to substantially diminish the ability to attack Decred's markets with mine coins and improve decentralization of the issuance process. In order for these upgrades to be implemented, they must receive 75% voter approval and 10% voter quorum. Currently, we are still in the upgrading process where proof of work miners and stakers are upgrading their software. Once 75% of voters have upgraded and 95% of miners have upgraded, the voting will begin. You can watch the upgrade progress at voting.decred.org. Proof of work miners have until about February 21st to upgrade before losing their block rewards. The proposal to change Decred's subsidy split is just another example of why Decred was created. Stakeholders have the ability to change the direction of the protocol as they see fit if something is not working as intended. In this case, as per the research of a user named Taco Revenge, it can be said that the proof of work miners were manipulating Decred markets with their mined Decred in order to suppress the price, demoralize bidders, and scare away new investors. Another scenario is that the rewards for mining were simply too profitable, and miners had no reason to hold, preferring to just dump on the market immediately. The introduction of ASICs resulted in manufacturers of the hardware having outright monopolies, meaning proof-of-work mining was being performed by a handful of powerful centralized entities. When China shut down mining, there was a massive 85% drop-off of the Decred hash rate indicating most of the mining is performed in China and is clearly not decentralized. This proposal spawned 166 comments, a record in the history of Decred proposals. It also had a 91.7% approval with 33,028 votes, which is a 79% voter turnout, another new record. Towards the end of voting, there was even a bug which resulted in votes not being counted. However, this did not affect the final outcome of the proposal and the bug in question has been fixed. I will leave a link in the video description to both the proposal and Taco Revenge's articles. Both are must reads for any Decred holder. Decred project lead J.K. Okampai was even featured on the Decred in Depth podcast to talk about the changes. Assuming this does pass, then what will end up happening is, is that it will be much more expensive to attack Decred in the way that, that, you know, that we're discussing right here. And, it, you know, and, and my hope is, is that, it, it, you know, it, it, it dissuades uh, TS from continually attacking and basically constricts their supply of coins that they use to attack the project with. So, so you know, that's my, that's my hope in terms of what goes on. And then, you know, this also touches on another topic, which is, you know, what is the point of a uh, of a you know of, of a consensus algorithm, a consensus algorithm pays someone uh, in in the native asset to perform something that creates you know something beneficial for the project. In this case, security. What's clear is is that the miners aren't generating security. The miners are just grinding. They're taking advantage of being overpaid and then using that to attack the project. And it, it ends up that this, you know, this supposedly democratized and distributing mechanism for, for distributing coins is actually a very, uh, is a very negative thing. And it doesn't distribute the coins fairly. It distributes them all to like one entity who then uses them to attack the project. So, so, you know, proof of stake is actually substantially fairer from that perspective when it comes to like, okay, well, you know, you've got coins locked up. If you just keep dumping coins, you're going to get less and less coins over time. You know, as a relative fraction of stake, someone else will get them and stake them up and then, you know, they'll get the subsidy. There's a new staking participation all time high of 62.94% of the circulating supply. The ticket price is 229 Decred. The treasury is currently worth 47.2 million US dollars. Decred's first payment to contractors from the new treasury was approved by a decentralized vote in cent. Currently, treasury voting is only available to command line users, but is coming to Decrediton soon. Decred Society released a new video. Another desired consequence is, it doesn't matter how loud someone shouts, in the end it's the coin holders that have the last say. As a final thought, I understand that no governance system is perfect and there will always be disagreements and conflicts, but I do believe that Decred's systemized approach to upgrades is currently the fairest and most sustainable system I've witnessed. 
Decred continues to be leaps and bounds ahead of the field in terms of true innovation. And under these conditions, I see this continuing long into the future. A proposal for more videos is in the works, so stay tuned for that. Community lead for the Arabic regions in Safnori was interviewed about the state of crypto in Morocco. As you know, with the crisis of uh, the COVID-19, more and more people have been adopting cryptocurrencies such as uh, Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies all over the world. So it was the same thing here in Morocco and uh, I think in North Africa and the Middle East. Uh, and uh, there is, uh, there is, there in Morocco, there was a ban from uh, November 2017 of the use of cryptocurrency because of the lack of regulations about cryptocurrencies in the world. So, however, people here are still buying and selling cryptocurrencies because it's a form of freedom for them. It's a form of being uh, independent financially. And because here in Morocco, there is a uh, a great percentage of uh, unbanked people. So cryptocurrencies is a way for uh, people to transact between them. And maybe in the future, we can buy more things from the internet by, by crypto. Uh, and when I learned about uh, Decred, it was an opportunity for me as a woman and uh, as a Muslim and as a woman to work with an international group and to be paid in Decred, because in Decred we get paid in, in Decred each month. So I am paid in cryptocurrencies, which has, uh, sorry, which has uh, changed my life for the better. GoDCR, a lightweight GUI client for Decred, is working on integrating the DCR decks. Users can test out GoDCR on testnet. The proposal to continue funding of GoDCR did not pass, however, so unfortunately, its future is uncertain. The Twitter bot phase two proposal from CoinShuffle bot passed with over 96% voter approval. A budget of 1,684 US dollars has been allocated to continue work on the bot, which tweets out various Decred network statistics like privacy stats, staking stats, and more. You can view the bot for yourself at stakeshuffle underscore bot on Twitter. Thanks for watching this Decred news update. Be sure to check out decred.org to learn more about the project and be sure to download Decred 1.7 and see what all the hype is about. Decred is secure, adaptable, sustainable. Learn more at decred.org.